Hello, hello, everybody. This is Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And we are here again with you with one of our Zoom chats where we are uplifting our member businesses. But today is very special because we have Jason Espinosa, who is the executive director of the New Mexico Society of Association Executives, with us today on our Zoom chat. And Jason, our conversation today is super, super important as we continue to move from red to yellow to turquoise to green. Jason, thank you so much for being with us today on our Zoom chat with the Las Cruces Green Chamber. Oh, thank you for having me. Really excited to be here and, and talk about New Mexico Safe Certified. Yes, so this was like the big deal when when the pandemic hit, um, you know, it was, you know, businesses needed to know what do I do in order to make sure that my place is safe for not only my staff, but also for potential customers. So can you give me a little bit of background on the New Mexico Safe Certified, like how it started and um, and really what the intent was? Yeah, certainly. So New Mexico Safe Certified as a program actually launched uh, June 15th of 2020. So we're almost a year into this. And really it came out of a discussion with associations and business organizations uh, like yours across the state where at the start of the pandemic, they were meeting with businesses and people really weren't really sure what they were supposed to do, how they were supposed to keep folks safe. Um, and then on the flip side, also we wanted to build consumer confidence. So what we did was launch New Mexico Safe Certified. And really it's a program that trains New Mexico businesses in the COVID safe practices to help ensure that all of us, our customers, our employees, and our families remain safe as New Mexico reopens for business and recreation. Uh, and so, you know, really, we didn't want businesses to feel like they were alone in navigating this new environment. And I know you all have been doing a great job of supporting members. And so this is just an added component to that. And on the flip side, again, it helps people feel confident about visiting businesses in a COVID positive world. Um, so just in, in brief, what it is, it's an online on-demand program that takes various industries through a education program. It's all video-based. It's very uh, brief and accessible for both for managers and employees that they can sit down on their own time, uh, view the videos, learn about the COVID safe practices. And one of the things that we have in there and we think really helps build the credibility for the consumer confidence is we actually have quizzes at the end of each of the components to make sure there's fidelity, to make sure employees and managers are actually learning the content uh, about the program. And so, uh, you know, we have, we've had great uptake and probably, you know, uh, almost a year in, in now have around 9,000 or more than 9,000 businesses that have completed the program from across the states. I think we have over a hundred communities that have a safe certified uh, business in their community. So uh, really impressed uh, and delighted to see the uptake by the business community. Well, and I'm sure it was, you know, that, that businesses were looking for just like, because so much was coming out, you know, on a weekly basis, sometimes even a daily basis about ways to keep places, you know, clean, um, you know, and then, you know, finding that surfaces may or may not. And it's it just, it, you know, and it's so confusing for businesses when all they're doing is just trying to keep their doors open. And and so I was really grateful for the program. And, and one of the things that I think is really uh, a unique thing about it is that we can actually find a business as a consumer. We can find a business. I mean, you know, we know that businesses should be slapping this logo out on their social media all the time. We are COVID. We are New Mexico safe certified business. Um, but that's stuff that that keeps us in our in our job because we're still working with businesses to help. <laughs> that. Um, but I like that you can actually search for a business and just the different categories that you have all over the website. Right. And that's that's one of the things. So, I mean, in terms of just so folks know, you know, we've really launched over the year about 15 different industry sort of trainings from uh, including the new ones. So there's, you know, new COVID safe practices for recreational facilities, right. for entertainment venues. You know, we've had them for hotels, lodging, spas, salons, golf courses, tour operators, retail, restaurants, you name it, we probably have it, including agriculture and manufacturing. And one of the things that we did, and we think this is such a great collaborative project, not only between uh, the state government, but also between all the industries and organizations across the state was that, you know, so at the end, when a person or a business completes the training, we give them access to a bunch of marketing materials. And those marketing materials include all the raw digital files for the logos. Um, and they get, you know, so they, if they want to create posters, uh, whatever they want to do. And we also send out each certified business a free sort of window sticker that they can put on the front window. 
because one of the things that we realized is, you know, we do have a directory on our website where folks can search them, but this doesn't need to live at NM Safe certified. Uh, collaborative partners such as yours, you know, you guys are utilizing that sale and recognizing businesses in your own community. And so this is something that's really a collaborative process and we've really are delighted to see the NM Safe certified. I mean, I, I still get a thrill every time I go to a restaurant or I go to a store and I see it up on the window. I mean, it just makes me smile and very proud about the work that everyone is doing. As you should be, because it's, it's you know, the thing is, is that once we are post COVID, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's still opportunities for this to, to live um, because, you know, I, I think that there, there has to be this consumer confidence and, and people have to feel safe. And, you know, right now that's the priority, but, you know, when there are organizations like yours and mine and, and a number of other businesses, it's like, our job is to like help encourage those businesses to recognize the importance of publicizing that yep. because ultimately people are on their phones, they're on their computers way more than they want to be. But, um, you know, it's, it's really important to get that information out. And so, um, with that, I'm, I'm kind of curious though, when, when you first started, what were like some of the big questions that would always pop up or the big concerns that businesses had? as they were going through this process and just everybody trying to learn all at the same time. I, I think one, one of the big things, and I think all of us in the business community know this is, it's not like the public health order or the COVID safe practices have remained static for a year. They've, they're constantly changing, they're constantly evolving based on what we need. And so with great collaboration with the governor's office uh, through this program, so the tourism department actually gave us our seed grant to get the program up and running. Uh, we've collaborated very closely. So anytime there's a change to the public health order, we immediately at work and change our training videos to make sure they're the most up to date. And then we also, all of our certified businesses receive an email with here are the exact changes in the, in the COVID safe practices. So as you know, it's not just a one time and we're done, we've done the program. It's how do we stay up to date? How do we stay up in communication and, and really Stay up to date. And one of the things that we do, being the you know Society of Association execs, is encourage businesses to connect with their local chamber, to connect with their organizations like yours, because it's not static. We want you know, and one of the things that you've done really great is it's really create like peer learning communities. We're going to put out information. We're going to share what's working, what doesn't, and that's what we encourage you to do. Take the program. We'll keep you informed, but really important to connect with organizations like yours, because it's a it's a you know it's an evolving process. Absolutely. And, you know, and it's so important to realize that people are not alone, that businesses are not alone. Um, you know, and there are so many different facets to businesses being able to come out on the other side of COVID, you know, not, not just with safety practices, but also with um, statewide assistance and federal assistance. And there are all these different organizations that are working on that. And so, you know, this is just one component of supporting our business community because, you know, with something that we always talk about is that local businesses are the backbone of our economy. Um, you know, I recognize the big businesses and know that they have their part, but I'm going to be the big mouth for our local businesses because they're working really hard and they've done incredible work in our community for decades. So, and I think exactly too, I mean, this book, you know, the program that we really built, it's, it's targeted at those small businesses. As you mentioned earlier, a lot of those small businesses in the midst of the pandemic and even now, I mean, their focus is on surviving. Um, how do we make it through this? And so again, part of the goal was how do we make this accessible? And I think one of the other things too, I haven't pointed out, this is a free program. So there's no cost to the program. So if you're a small business owner and you're like, you know what, I'm focused, I don't have dollars to do, to do this, it's free. That's one of the things that was really important to us is you know, the small business owners, you're just trying to keep afloat. We wanted to provide you an accessible, again, on-demand system that you can use when you need on your time for free um, to help educate and train you on the COVID safe practices. Yeah, well, I'm so glad that you're doing what you're doing and, and uh, you know, it's going to be an ongoing conversation that we're all gonna have about ways to really kind of elevate our local businesses again and, 
and and hopefully bring them back to where they were before the pandemic. And and I have the utmost confidence that people are going to want to go back out again. But in the meantime, we need to know that you're safe. And this is the way that you can do it. And so if you're interested in learning how you can become a New Mexico safe certified business, uh, the information and the link will be below or above all depending on how you're looking at this video, but um, it's really important. And if you have more questions about how you can amplify your presence, you can certainly reach out to me at the Green Chamber. And, uh, and certainly I know that there are ways to ask Jason Espinosa as well. Um, mm -hmm. what to do in terms of the, the state tourism and just to have the, the inside the inside chisme about what's happening and, and ways that we can really just get the word out. And so, uh, Jason, thank you so much for coming and talking about the New Mexico Safe Certified Program. It's um, lovely to know the background on that and know the face behind it. So thank you. No, thank you for having me and, and feel free to reach out with any other questions. We'd love to continue to collaborate on this project. That sounds fantastic. We will have all the contact information in the text. Uh, and as always, we appreciate your support of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce and for thinking local first. Uh, until our next Zoom chat, have a great day.